Hi and aloha everyone and welcome to Yoga for Good Life. I am Liel Cherry, a yoga instructor and I'm here to share with you my passion for yoga and to inspire you to live your life more fully with passion and more healthy. Today this video is dedicated to one of my new yogi friend, Joanne Nelson from Australia. Joanne's first yoga experience was with me on her vacation in Hawaii. Dear Joanne, keep practicing and inspire others with your yoga practice. And today I'm gonna share with you guys a great yoga routine to detoxifying your body. It helps with your digestive problems while it builds strength, flexibility, energizes your entire body and reduces stress and tension. So let's get started. Let's get started and extend the child's pose. Bring your big toes to touch, spread your knees as wide as feels comfortable, forehead rest on the mat, and reaching through your fingertips to lengthen your spine. Soften your whole body, even the tightest muscles on your face. Start to deepen your breath, deep rolling breaths in and out through your nose, ujjayi breath. Relax your shoulders and your jaw and find your space. Two more deep breaths here in child's pose. With the next inhale, slowly rise into tabletop position, stacking your shoulders on top of your wrist, hips above your knees, flat neutral spine. Reach your right arm out long, engage your core and extend your left leg out behind you. Take a full breath in to lengthen and as you exhale, tuck and curl, bring your elbow and knee together to touch, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, extend and lengthen and as you exhale, tuck and curl, round your spine, open up your shoulders. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tuck and curl last time. Inhale, extend. And as you exhale, bend your left knee and start to reach your right arm behind you and grab your left foot. Gaze over your right shoulder. Try to kick your foot a little bit higher to the sky and bringing your shoulder blades closer to touch. One more full breath here. Inhale, extend, and as you exhale, come back to tabletop position. Opposite side, reach your left arm out long, engaging your core, and extend your right leg out behind you. Take a full breath into lengthen, and as you exhale, tuck and curl, knee with elbow to touch, tuck your chin. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, tuck and curl. One more time, inhale, extend, exhale, tuck and curl, inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, bend your right knee and start to reach your left arm behind you and grabbing your right foot, gazing over your left shoulder this time, one more full breath here. Gently release, inhale, extend, and as you exhale, come back to tabletop neutral spine. Take a full breath here, tuck your toes under, and as you exhale, find your first downward facing dog. Lift your hips high in the back, and ground your heels down towards the mat. Let your head hang heavy, relax your shoulders away from your ears, and take any movements to warm up your legs and your spine. Find stillness in your downward facing dog and hold here for one more full breath. Now inhale, reach your right leg high for down dog splits. And as you exhale, bring your right knee to touch your right elbow. Stack your shoulders above your wrist. Hold and breathe. 
bring your knee to your left elbow cross body hold and breathe bring your knee back to your right elbow inhale reach your right leg high down dog split exhale back to downward facing dog inhale reach your left leg high for down dog splits and as you exhale bring your left knee to your left elbow hold and breathe fire up your core here now bring your knee to your right elbow cross body strong engagement in your core your left knee back to your left elbow inhale reach your left leg high exhale back to downward facing dog one full breath here with the next inhale look up to your hands and as you exhale walk your feet behind your wrist for a ragdoll position with a gentle bend in your knees grab your opposite elbows and let everything hang heavy maybe it's five side to side pick your head yes and no any movements that feels good in your body and helping you to release the tension from your upper and lower spine from your shoulders and from your neck take a breath in and as you exhale release the elbows fingertips to the floor bring your heels toes together to touch bend your knees a lot here and start to uncurl one vertebra at a time all the way to a standing position your feet together to touch take a few rolls here with your shoulders open up your collarbone find stillness in your standing position inhale mountain pose reach your arms high palms face each other and bring your shoulders away from your ears take a full breath in and as you exhale forward fold hinging from your hips come all the way down inhale halfway lift lengthen your spine and as you exhale plant your palms and step your feet back to a high plank inhale come forward about three inches and as you exhale lower to chaturanga dandasana low plank elbows brace your ribs inhale flip your toes to upward facing dog tops the feet and your hands only touching the mat take a breath in and as you exhale hips high and back to downward facing dog full breath in downward facing dog and now let's flow through this sequence one breath one movement twice inhale gaze forward exhale step or float your feet to the top of your mat inhale half relieved lengthen exhale refold inhale mountain pose reach up exhale forward fold leading with your heart inhale halfway lift lengthen your spine exhale plant your palms to chaturanga dandasana high to low plank inhale upward facing dog shine your heart forward exhale back to downward facing dog one more time through inhale look up exhale step or float to the top of your mat inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale mountain pose reach up exhale forward fold inhale half relief to lengthen exhale chaturanga dandasana high to low plank inhale upward facing dog exhale back to downward facing dog one full breath in downward facing dog Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, half relief to lengthen. Exhale, refold. Inhale, bend your knees to chair pose. Sink low and sweep your arms up and over your head. Shift all the way into your heels and find the up dog in your chest. Breathing slow. 
breath in. Exhale to chair with airplane arms, reaching your arms behind you, your palms facing each other. Inhale back to chair pose. Exhale, chair, airplane arms, reach your arms one inch higher. Inhale back to a chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, hinging from your hips. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. As you exhale, step your left foot back to a low lunge. Stack your front knee on top of the front ankle. Take a breath in and rise into a crescent lunge. Sweep your arms overhead and deep belly breaths as you sink deep into your hips. Press your left heel back to activate your back leg. Fill up with air and as you exhale crescent with airplane arms, sweep your arms behind you, shift a little bit more weight to your front foot, reach your arms one inch higher and squeeze your shoulder blades here. As you inhale, rise and open, warrior two, spin your back heel flat, stay low in your lunge, tuck your shoulders above your hip bones and activate your arms here. Take an inhale, exhale, extended side angle, bring your front elbow to your front thigh and reach your opposite arm high to the sky. Open up your rib cage and squeeze both of your heels to the midline, start to feel more activation in your inner thighs. One more full breath. Inhale to reverse warrior, stay low in your front knee and reaching your front arm up and over your head, lean back to side body stretch, engaging both legs equally. Fill up with air. And as you exhale, plant your palms and step back to Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, refold. Inhale, bend your knees, chair pose, sink really low and relax your shoulders away from your ears. Beautiful, one more full breath. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, reach your arms one inch higher. Inhale, back to chair pose. Exhale, one more time, chair airplane arms. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, leading with your heart. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. And as you exhale, step your right foot back to a low lunge, keeping the front knee on top of your front ankle. Take your breath in and with control, inhale, rising up to a crescent lunge. Slightly tuck your tailbone here, engage your core and soften your shoulders away from your ears. Fill up with air. And as you exhale, hinge from your hips to crescent airplane arms. Keep your belly away from your thigh. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Fill up with a deep breath in. Rise and open to warrior two. Reaching through your fingertips. Shift a little bit more weight to your back heel. Take a breath in. And as you exhale to extended side angle, bring your front elbow to your front thigh and opposite arm high to the sky. Just a little bit weight in your forearm. Use your strength here and lengthen out of your waist. Feel that nice side body stretch. One more full breath. Inhale. Stay with your exhale. Inhale to reverse warrior, keep 90 degree bend in your front knee, reaching your front arm up and over your head, leaning back, fill up with air, exhale, plant your palms, high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, back to downward facing dog, 
one cleansing breath here feel up and an open mouth exhale good now let's flow one breath one movement inhale gaze forward exhale step or float to the top of your mat inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale chair pose exhale chair airplane arms inhale back to chair pose exhale chair airplane arms inhale chair pose exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale step your left foot back low lunge with control inhale rising up press and punch exhale press and airplane arms inhale rise and open warrior two exhale extended side angle inhale reverse warrior exhale plant your palms chaturanga dandasana high to low plank inhale upward facing dog rolling your shoulders back and down exhale back to downward facing dog inhale look up exhale step or float to the top of your mat inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale chair pose exhale chair with airplane arms inhale chair pose exhale airplane the arms inhale chair pose exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale step your right foot back to low lunge inhale use your strength rise up crescent punch exhale crescent airplane arms inhale rise and open warrior two exhale extended side angle inhale reverse warrior lean back side body straight exhale plant your palms chaturanga dandasana high to low plank inhale upward facing dog shine your heart exhale downward facing dog feel up with a huge breath in open up exhale inhale reach your right leg high down dog splits exhale bring your right knee to touch your right elbow hold and breathe bring your shoulders above your wrist engage your core and now move your right knee to your left elbow cross body back to your right elbow inhale reach your right leg high and as you exhale step your lower line with your core inhale rise up press and climb. exhale hinge from your hips press and airplane arm reaching your arms a little bit higher inhale back to your press and punch and as you exhale bring your palms to heart inhale lengthen out of your waist exhale we go press and punch bring your left elbow out of your right knee Use the strength of your arms to lift your heart, meet your palms. Hold and breathe. If you're ready to open your arms up to slide, then fly. Otherwise, focus on your breath. With every breath in, lengthen your spine and twisting a little bit deeper with every exhale. One more full breath here. inhale slowly untwist and as you exhale press your hands down to the mat low lunge inhale float your right foot up and back exhale chaturanga ekapada high to low plank with a lifted leg inhale upward facing dog exhale back to downward facing dog inhale reach your left leg high exhale bring your knee to your left elbow and breathe stack your shoulders above your wrist engage your core now move your knee to your right elbow cross body bring it back to your left elbow inhale reach your left leg high 
exhale use your core and step through low lunge inhale with control rising up crescent lunge exhale hinge from your hips crescent airplane arms create an abduct with your chest inhale back to a crescent lunge exhale bring palms to heart center inhale lengthen and as you exhale revolve crescent lunge this time bring your right elbow outside of your left knee palms to heart center rotate your left sh left shoulder up and back and take the same variation as you did in the other side continue to breathe through your belly one more full breath here with the next inhale slowly untwist exhale place your hands down to the mat low lunge Inhale, load your left foot up and back. Exhale, Chaturanga Ekapada. High to low plank with a lifted leg. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Take one cleansing breath here, fill up. Open mouth, exhale, let go. Inhale, look up to your hands. Exhale, step your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, refold. Inhale to a chair, pose, bend your knees and sink low into your hips. Bring all the way to your heels. Inhale, soften your shoulders. And as you exhale, prayer twist to the right. Bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Rotate your right shoulder up and back. Sink a little bit lower your hips below your heart. Keep the weight into your heels. As you inhale, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, twist your torso a little bit deeper. If you're ready to open your arms up to fly, then fly. Otherwise, focus on your breath. One more full breath here. Take an inhale and as you exhale, forward fold. Step your feet hip with distance apart. Flip your palms and interlace your palms under your feet. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Open your elbows to the sides and relax your head and relax your neck. To a chair pose, bend your knees and sink low. Exhale, hands to heart center. Fill up with air, lengthen. And as you exhale, prayer twist to the left. Bring your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Sink one inch lower. With every breath in, lengthening through your spine. With every exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Keep both of your knees in one line. Bring your elbows in one vertical line. And take the same variation as you did in the other side. Deep belly breaths. Soften your face here. One full breath. Take an inhale. Exhale to forward fold, hinge from your hips. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step your feet back, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your heart forward. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. One cleansing breath. Open mouth, exhale. Now drop to your knees and find a tabletop position. As you inhale, extend your right arm to the side. As you exhale, slide your right arm underneath your left and come to lie down on your right shoulder. Your head rests on the mat. You can stay here and focus on your belly breaths or take a little bit deeper to half pine. 
For half pine, inhale, reach your left arm high. Exhale, reach your left arm behind you to clasp your hand on your right thigh or as close as you can get. Continue to breathe. Gaze towards your left shoulder. Two more breaths here. One more. Now gently release the bind. Inhale, extend your right arm to the side. Exhale back to a table top. Right away, inhale, extend your left arm to the side. Exhale, slide your arm underneath your right. And come to lie on your left shoulder this time. Head rest on the mat. And take the exact same variation as you did in the other side. Use your deep belly breaths. Rotate your right shoulder up and open. Try to bring your shoulder blades closer to each other. Keep your face completely relaxed. Two more full breaths. One more. Now gently release the bind. Inhale, extend your left arm to the side. Exhale back to a tabletop. Now drop your hips to one side and come to sit on your seat bones. Extend your legs out in front of you, sitting all the way nice and tall. Draw your right knee towards your chest. Cross it over your left leg. Try to get as close to your body as you can and hugging it towards your belly. Take a deep breath in. Reach your left arm all the way up and as you exhale, crossing your left arm over the right leg. Keep sitting nice and tall, twisting around and on each inhale, you want to lengthen a little bit further, make more space in your body and as you breathe out, twist a little bit deeper. Two more breaths here. Slowly unwind and extend your leg all the way out, opposite side. Draw your left knee towards your chest, cross it over your right leg, getting as close to your body as you can and hugging in towards your belly. Take a deep breath in, reach your right arm high and as you exhale, crossing the arm over the left leg and twisting around. With every breath in, lengthen and twist deeper as you exhale. Relax your shoulders and your face. Focus on your breath. Two more breaths here. Slowly unwind and extend your leg out to meet your right. Take a deep breath in. Now extend your arms in front of you and as you exhale on count of five, using your core strength, lower all the way down to your spine. For five, four, three, two, and one all the way down. Lift both of your legs up, legs up the wall. Flex your toes towards your face. Relax. Met your shoulders to the floor. You can close your eyes here. Keep your legs active. This posture revive your whole system, relax and restore your whole body. Two more breaths here. supine twist, hug your right knee into your chest, take a deep breath in, 
and squeeze your knee closer into your chest. As you exhale, supine twist to the right. Bring your right knee across the body. Extend your right arm to the side. Keep both of your shoulder blades on your mat and gaze towards your right shoulder. Relax and deep breaths through your side body. side to side to reset your spine and then switch your legs hug your left knee into your chest right leg resting on the mat fill up with air and squeeze your knee deeper into your chest as you exhale supine twist on the left bring your left knee across the body and extend your left arm to the side gaze towards your left shoulder Keep both of your shoulder blades on your mat. Relax and breathe deeply through your side body. With the next inhale, bring your knees back to your chest. Rock side to side. Neutralize your spine. And for a final squeeze, bring your forehead to touch your knees, interlace your elbows and squeeze yourself to a tiny ball and squeeze as tight as you can. Take a huge, huge breath in and as you exhale, release everything out to your final Shavasana, resting pose. Extend your legs out long in front of you, arms by your sides, palms facing guys now you have a great yoga routine to detoxify your entire body thank you so much for watching this video if you like the video leave the comments below and i will see you soon in the yoga for good life